Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for ANSYS Granta EduPack. In this video, we'll be introducing the synthesizer tool within the software and demonstrating how it can be used to predict hybrid material properties. This tool takes data records from Granta EduPack and synthesizes them using different models to create new records that can be used for screening. This tool was originally developed to predict the properties of hybrid materials, which we will demonstrate today. However, additional models now exist within the synthesizer tool to predict additional properties. These models have their own tutorials, which you can find on our ANSYS Learning YouTube channel. Please note that the synthesizer tool is an advanced feature within Grant to EduPack and is only available in the advanced level three subject databases. This tool is not found in the introductory version of Grant to EduPack, which does not contain these databases. Please choose your database carefully, depending on the level information needed for a particular project or assignment. Let's explore the hybrid material synthesizer tool capabilities using the level three aerospace database. We can find the synthesizer tool in the main toolbar here. Clicking the button opens a new window showing the available models grouped together by type. We have seven models in this tool, battery designer, cellular structures, composites with simple bounds, controlled thermal expansion, cost, multi-layer materials, and sandwich panels. For today's tutorial, we will focus on the hybrid material models. The part cost estimator and battery designer model have separate tutorials, which can be accessed from the link in the upper right-hand corner of this window. If you need to write your own model, we produce a model writer's guide to explain how to write your own models. To demonstrate how the synthesizer tool predicts the properties of hybrid materials and how we can compare these estimated values to existing materials data, we will investigate the properties of an aluminum face PVC core sandwich panel over a range of geometries. To start, we will scroll until we find sandwich panels and click balanced. This will open a new window where we can enter details about our sandwich panel. The assumptions of this model, as well as a schematic highlighting important dimensions can be found at the top of the window. Next, we need to enter the source records for our face sheet and core of our sandwich panel. The source records are pulled from the materials universe within Grant to EduPack and can be found using this browse button. For our example, Let's select a wrought aluminum alloy, 7075 with the T6 condition to give us a stiff, strong face. For the core, we want a PVC foam to decrease the weight of our panel. Our next segment focuses on the model variables. First, we select the face sheet thickness. Let's use a range from 0.1 to 3 millimeters with three values within the range. For the core, let's select 10 to 50 millimeters thick and use five variables within this range. By changing the number of values for each variable range, the number of records generated changes. This can be found at the bottom of the window. Now we will have 15 records. Next, we need to select our model parameters. This details what loading our panel will experience. For this example, let's use a simply supported and centrally loaded beam with a span length of the default 10 meters. The last information needed is the record naming. We will simply label our face sheet as aluminum and our core as PVC. Click Create to generate the panel records. And click Finish to finish and confirm the records have been generated. The records generated by the tool are now placed in a folder within our material universe titled My Records. We can find them using the Browse function and looking at the material universe. Opening a data record shows us the property values calculated for our panel. The yellow box at the bottom of the records 
lists the parameters of the model we entered, as well as some additional properties the synthesizer tool predicts. We can now use the chart select function to plot a chart and visually compare the estimated properties of the new records we've just generated to those of the existing bulk materials in the database. In our select drop-down menu, choose Material Universe, All Bulk Materials. Now let's plot the chart Fletural Modulus against Density. To highlight the records we have synthesized, click the Highlight Synthesized Records button in the Chart Toolbar. This will cause only the synthesized records and their source records to be highlighted. We can see that our synthesized material has properties in between the two constituent materials. In this how-to tutorial, we've demonstrated the Synthesizer tool and how it can be used to predict hybrid material properties. For more information about Grant to EduPack, there's a link in the description below. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.